MYOB setup, the customizing toolbar. We're customizing an item invoice and we've looked at different fields, text fields and data fields and of course lines. What I want to point out before we go any further is that we have a toolbar up the top here in our customizing window. Now if you move your mouse over one of the buttons or each of the buttons it tells you a little bit about what that button does and this button allows you to add new data fields or columns. Let me just explain what a data column is. This is a data column okay, where you've got a whole column of information. Okay, the next button here is the text tool. If you wanted to create another text field somewhere, you simply click on this, then click down in your form, and then you just edit the text that's in there. Next to it is the picture tool. If you want to put a picture into your invoice, this is the tool you use. This is the rectangle tool, this is the line tool. Remember these are if you want to create something or put something in there that's not already in there. This option here is not available to us yet so we won't cover it. This option here enables you to choose the order that items are in. For example these two are on top of each other but if I move this down to here one is in front of the other. This one is in front, this one is behind. These two buttons enable you to change the order. Notice now that I've selected a field that this button is now available. It's the undo tool. Notice also that this next button here is also now available. That's the button that you can click to change the font properties. This button down here is the next button that we're going to talk about. It enables you to choose the form properties and this is the preview button. enables you to see what the page will look like when it prints.